So as ever, really competitive racing from the Ebo Festival on Friday, the star attraction being Batash and the Munthorpe. Not going to put up a selection in that race, but we do have a really good supporting card. Kickstarting in the 145, the man half handicap. I think it might be worth chancing Mick Shannon trained uh, Kuman, who ran quite well at Ascot last time out when staying on. Um, didn't really get a pace to, to suit that day. Did finish six and was only beaten just over two lengths. Now, um, come down in the handicap, is only a pound higher than when just touched off at Maidan earlier in the year. Machine Murphy gets the leg up for the first ride and uh, for the first time, and with Dash of Spice in there, hopefully we'll get a, a race run to suit. Uh, currently a double figure price, I just thought it was worth um, a, a value bet in a race that doesn't really have many improvers. The Beal Champion is a worthy favourite for the Mark Johnson team, who looks as if this step up in trip will suit and he's probably the only unexposed runner in the field but that's factored into his price he's, he's around a two to one favorite and there's no real juice in his price there um and the rest just look exposed El fatigue um isn't exposed that does have the blinkers reapplied but did look a hard ride last time and um, so the blinkers will need to have an effect he, he wouldn't be a confident selection um so i just thought um Cooman was worth a, a chance at a double figure price. And then moving on to the second race, the Lonsdale, I thought it was um, an interesting race. Eagles by Day was the one I came down on in the end, who won the John Smith Silver Cup over this course two starts ago, then ran to a similar level in the Goodwood Cup last time, went fourth. That run probably came a little bit too soon after York. Um, wasn't beaten that far by Nea Farod, who was second, who has to be respected here. Um, but Nea Farod around a 5-2 to two mark and Eagles by day 7. So I just thought there was some, um, some value in his price. Dashing Willoughby has uh, won both starts this season. Really relished the step up in trip last time, but he looks to be around the right price. And then Bihar, the favourite for John Gosden. She won back-to-back -back renewals of the Lily Langtree last time, but... This is probably her toughest assignment to date. She will stay. I'm pretty sure she will stay the two miles, but I'd just be worried about the um, the, the step up in grade to taking on the boys. And she she could well be up to it, but at the prices, I'm just willing to to take a chance on Eagles by Day, who is out of a Ascot Gold Cup runner-up. So back on a, a more galloping track, um, yeah, could have a, a decent chance. And then finally, the gym crack looks to be. Uh, potential against proven form. The two with uh, potential head the market, but I'm going to go with the one with form in the book already in the William Haggis train. The other man has won this race three times uh, as a trainer since 2006. Um, the other man was second to tactical in both the Windsor Castle and then the uh, July Sticks at Newmarket before second in the Richmond. Does have an idle tendency. He, was, he seemed to... Um, not really travel early on at Goodwood last time, but I'm going to put that down to the track. He travelled a lot better at Newmarket last time, the time before, should I say. And um, I was quite surprised he's as big as he, as he is. He's third favourite behind Minzal, who was beaten by Mohawk Ridge on debut, then won really impressively at Salisbury. This is a big step up. Um, and then Mohawk Ridge won at Ascot over the stiff six. Looks as if needing every yard of that test that day. And this is really... Sharp six. So I just thought he has a man um, was potentially the, the value bet in the gym crack. Um, you better believe it should stay. Um, but um, this is harder than the national stakes have won. So I thought he has a man third favourite is worth taking on the two that do need to improve.